Alright guys, what is up? Uh, I know I just posted a video yesterday saying that there'd be no videos on the weekend, but uh, this will be up on Sunday, which for me right now is tomorrow. Um, it's not really a gameplay video, just I want to show you something that I've added to my uh, team. And uh, there won't be any more recording of stuff until Monday when I get my new stuff. Um, but I have stuff already planned, I've got some pre-recorded stuff, so it's not really a big deal. But, uh, I just wanted to add this to my collection, show you guys what I've been adding. I've honestly been saving up a lot of my coins. I had over 500,000. Um, so that will give us the 10,000 back and the 98 Troy Palomalu. Um, other than that, though, um, because I know the videos aren't up yet, I'm going to go into my team lineup, and there have, I mean, if you pay close attention, you'll see that there have been some extra additions to the team. But from now on, Maze will be replaced by uh, Paulo Malo. And as you can see, really the only difference is, Paulo Malo is a bit shorter, and he's not as quick, but he's got uh, better coverage, better pursuit, uh... Better man, better, well, same zone. Better press coverage, which will help out a lot. Better acceleration. Speed is only down by two. But, uh, I'm happy with this. I, uh, Palomalo is a beast. So, so we're going to switch him in here. And our backup will now be Maze. Instead of, uh, Glover Quinn playing at both positions as free safety and strong safety. Now, I want to show you one thing. Um, I have been having some problems with this last game. But, uh, I've only got one more game in this. That will give me another 50,000 coins. Bring me That will bring me up to three, 331. And by comparing everything, uh, I've looked at some stuff. Ray, uh, not Ray Rice. Uh, Jay Rice should cost about four hundred twenty-five thousand. Um, right now he's supposed to be going for. Let's see, four seventeen. So if I bought all the collectibles, it'd be four twenty-five. Bought it outright four seventeen. Um. But if you go to look at it. Rice is not really at that price point, for what I know. Rice. Yeah, as you can see here, Rice, well, he's at 423, so he's, well, the lowest anyways, but this card was just posted a few minutes ago. Um, so that's probably my next big target. Is my wide receivers do need some help, sadly. And I'm still trying to complete that right tackle, and I don't think it's ever going to be done. Not for the price that that right tackle, uh, Jawan James, is at. It's not worth me buying that card. So, because if I do, it'll, and I've still got to put the two elite badges into it, which I do have because I got them in a uh, badge pack today from completing the coach sets. Um, but... So I don't really need to worry about spending the money on those. But if I spend 130k on a 74 overall Jawan James, that's going to uh, tank the value of that card for me, honestly. Because I have I think I've put about, oh, I'd say right at 180 into it. So if I put another 140k into it, that will put, you know, that will bring it up to 320. And I think the card's... Only worth 260 right now. What is is that? Am I correct in saying that? 260, uh, 275. On the brighter sides of things, though, they have released the golden tickets. Uh, I think honestly, most of them have been claimed from now. By now, if you've uh, been following the Twitter, you'd know. Um, and they added in a new flashback yesterday. Which was the Brandon Marshall. I didn't get anything from it. I got a Miles Austin. Had to sell it for like 37k. Uh, so that wasn't good for me. 
Um, and then they added in um, the Jadavian Clowny Combine Warrior, which is slowly dropping. I've got six out of the ten. I had all the gold badges from the day I got the packs, and I had these two from the packs as well. So I'm just waiting for these to drop a little more. I'm not going to pay more than 15k a piece for them. They're all right around 28, 25. Uh, the other two big additions are the Ultimate Law and the Ultimate Upshaw. Which, uh, these ones I think we're going for what? Yeah, right around 250, 280. I think they're these ones are both about the same. Yeah, this one's a little pricier, but then the big, the big Ronnie Law is, uh, this one's going for almost right around 550. But this card's going to be a beast. A 99 overall Ronnie Law. And the Gene Upshaw will be a good addition too. But I probably won't ever complete any of these sets. Yeah, 210. Um... What's the lowest on this one? Uh, three, three thirty-nine, and two ninety. And then usually the nickname one doesn't cost very much. Well, this one's costing a bit, a little bit. Two oh nine. Those the nickname one will drop though. And then the left guard. This is this one's not worth anything because you get it from the game just by playing it. Um. On that though, I don't I don't think there's really too much going on with this. Oh, and the Devin McCourty that they added in. It's got really good uh zone, honestly though. Like zone and uh man coverage. Like it's zone is like a ninety six and its man is a eighty eight or a ninety two, I think. So it's actually quite worth it. Honestly. But, uh, so that's really going to do it for this video, though. It was just a quick update on things that I've added. And uh, that should do it. Next set of recording. I mean, it's going to take a bit because I've still got some things pre-recorded. Uh, so it'll be about a two weeks, honestly. So after this week, the start of that next week, I'll have my new stuff to start recording. Hopefully it cuts out the uh, static in the background because it will be a regular mic and not a headset mic. So, yeah. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, rate, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys in the next episode. See ya! Yeah.